Today I want to share with you not one but two free Visual Studio Code tools that will blow your mind. The first one is hands down the best code compilation tools that I found is better than Super Moving and Continue. And the other one will let us chat with the GBT40 for free. Yeah, you heard me right. It's totally free. Stick with me in the coming few minutes to check them out. Let's talk about the first extension, Copilot Arena. This is a 100% free to use code compilation inside the editor. Basically, there is no limit. You can use multiple models and like the GPT-40, the Code Stroll, the Lama 3.1, and the Quinn and the Sonnet 3.5. This is the best code completion so far I found on Visual Studio Code. It's better than Super Maven, it's better than Continue. In Extension tab, search for Copilot Arena and hit Install. The only thing that's annoying about the Copilot Arena extension, it will use your code to train the AI. So you have to disable it inside the settings to not collect your code basically that you're working on and make it private only. In order to save our code and make it private, go to your extension tab, search for Copilot Arena, click the manage button and select settings. This is will open the Visual Studio Code settings for the Copilot Arena only. And here instead of research, select private. By default, it's set to research. The code will be uploaded to the Code Arena private server for research purposes. Basically, it will take your code to train AI on it and the debug will only collect the debug logs and private no code is collected the code is still sent to the ABI provider basically it will be sent to the AI to code completed so I'm gonna try it in one of this project that I'm migrating from BHB to JavaScript and here I wrote export async function get shorter orders and it's automatically give me already autocomplete for two different models and I don't know what the models yet but you can read the code like here for the first one I'm using Prisma and it realized this already it gave me this query including the shorter and the user and the second one gave me only the shorter and I'm gonna stick with the first one so how I can do this actually is by if I am selected the one over here I can hit tab and it will give me the first option. And here in the down below, it say Claudia 3.5 Sonnet has beat Llama. Actually, this is really cool. So it's kind of, it went very fast, but it's like a video game when you select one of the code and the other one, the, the one you select will win, the other one will lose. This is really kind of cool. But also you can do is selecting this kind of piece of code and hit Control i or Command i on your Mac OS and it will open this kind of prompt enhancement box it's over there usually if you're using Windsurf or Cursor it will be somewhere over here because this is Visual Studio Code it will be over there and I will want it to add like um, give error if the ID of the shorter was not sent in the ABI and let's see what it can do. It's already created two different versions and I can accept, of course, one of them. Here, the first one, it give me an uh, if statement, if the ID, it's almost identical. So it's not a problem to choose one of them. In order to accept any one of these results, because I got two different results, I can press control one to accept the first one and control two to accept the second option or control N to basically say that I don't like this code. I'm gonna try control one. Okay, it's already accepted very fast. I can click save and that's it. This is amazing. This is 100% free. I didn't even register to basically get my own list for the most voted large language model. Maybe I will do that. If you register, basically you can have your own personal list of your favorite models. I don't know if this will affect the usage of the model or not. But as you can see here, the only one that I kind of requested and the only one that I used in the auto completion, the Sonus 3.5 beat the Lama 405 billion parameter instruct, which is very 
amazing that I can even see that model even connected to my code. And now let's take a look to the second tool, which is extremely useful also. Now let's talk about the AI toolkit. This AI toolkit is created by Microsoft official team. So it's like legit. It's have like 30K and I don't know why it didn't take off as it should be. Right in your extension tab, AI toolkit, and that's it. You will find it with this kind of blue icon, install it, and voila, we have it in Visual Studio Code. And after we install it, we will find in the welcome page for Visual Studio Code a welcome message, explore AI models. I'm gonna click open model catalog. So there is already a large amount of number of models that we can use. There is the one that hosted by GitHub, Anthropic, Google, OpenAI, and, and Onyx, and uh, different publisher, task, and uh, device type, and the AI model types. I'm gonna select the remote access, and I want it hosted by GitHub, and let's see what we can use from here. We already have the GBT 4 o access, we can try it at the playground. It requested authorization from GitHub to let me access. Let's, now wait, let's test the free GBT 4 o from GitHub. I already can see that I can put some system prompt over there. I'm gonna get one and I'm gonna use this system prompt that I got from Cursor Directory. And if you have been following my channel for a while right now, you will know that I talked about this website before and the uh, impressive master prompt. I'm gonna leave both of them down below in the comments. And here is my prompt. Design a visually appealing homepage for an airline website using Tailwind CSS. The homepage should focus on enabling user to book tickets online. And honestly, it's really hard to read the rest of the prompt. And right now, let's try it out and see what will happen. It's already following the system instruction that I give it over here. And it's trying to create it like uh, using styling color, break it apart. Okay, it started to write some code snippet examples. And now if I want to use this code, the only way is the old way by copy and paste inside the page that you want to save this code inside. And this is the result that I got from the ChatGPT code. It's not that bad. It have awareness what it should be a airline booking website, but I'm not going to complain. It's a free access to GPT 4.0. There is also Mr. Large 2, which is a new model just got dropped. There is also Mr. Small and the O1 preview and the O1 mini. So this is all of this. I don't know if I can access actually the O1 preview and the O1 mini. Let me try it and see if it will let me access it. Okay, the model is completed. So I'm going to give it the same exact prompt. And I'm pretty sure the code will be different. And I have to add in React GSX. And let's see if it actually will work. Of course, of course, the O1 preview and the O1 mini in early access in the playground, so you can't use them. Of course, that makes sense. I thought it's going to be for free, but we have access to the GBT 4O and a lot of the Lama models and also Cohere models. It's really decent. I would like to see other models like the Quinn 2.5 Coder 32B. It's an amazing model. And if you try to use, for example, Anthropic 3.5 Sonnet, you have to put your API key. And here it's kind of useless because the only free model that you can get is from Google. Google gives you a free API key, so it's not a problem. And also you can use the GitHub models, which is also for free as like the GPT 4o and the GPT 4o mini. This is really cool if you don't want to switch between tabs and you don't have multiple screens. This is really nice. Everything in one place inside Visual Studio Code. I feel I'm getting very close to creating a zero dollar cost coding assistant setup. And I hope that I do it this year before 2025 come. And I'm going to share it with you 100%. It will be very fun to see all this common coding assistant and AI editor and new large language model competing each other. It's quite impressive to see that you don't need money right now to use coding assistant and get a quality one. Thank you guys for watching and all the lovely comments that I get on the channel. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like and subscribe button. 
and leave a silly comment down below for the algorithm because it will push the video even more out there. Thank you for watching and see you in the coming video.